50 years ago, an idea was born that has set the standard in commercial computing ever since. That idea was COBOL, and for the last 50 years, it's set the standard in performance, portability, and precision. And for the next 50 years, it's going to set the standard for performance, portability, and precision. Onto the cloud, and whatever comes after the cloud, COBOL will be waiting there to take the enterprise applications of the future into the next future. My name is Chad Haney and I'm President and CEO of TableTrack Inc., a company that produces software for the casino industry in the United States. We're in a very intensive processing environment in the casinos, processing financial transactions between slot machines 24-7, 365. Everything we do at TableTrack revolves around capitalizing on the capabilities that COBOL provides us. I chose COBOL for TableTrack because COBOL is the established uh, language for business processing going back many, many years. COBOL gives us the ability to write and programs to gather, process, and present information to our customers. Uh, it does so in a very reliable and scalable way. The developers of COBOL, such as MicroFocus, have made sure to keep the language current with new processing ideas and new capabilities. So although it's a mature language, which has a lot of lines of operating code, to adapt it into a new environment is very easy. A good example of that is the recent integration of XML communications into the MicroFocus product, which allows us to communicate directly as a web service to web-based applications. COBOL is still relevant as a language for application development today. It still provides great features in terms of the ability to express business logic, calculations, numerical precision, things that are still unmatched by the curly brace languages like Java and C Sharp. But in addition to that, it's also completely agnostic. You can take the same code and compile it to native code, to .NET, and to Java. And that's unique within the industry. Over recent years, three things stand out for me in MicroFocus COBOL. In the native COBOL product, it's pick one. That has to be the most important one for me because it allows the heavy lifting data ability of COBOL to be enhanced into much more logical processing. Moving on to the .NET offering, the quoteless syntax along with tight integration into the Visual COBOL IDE produces a much easier environment, a much more productive environment for developers and more productive developers means a better bottom line. And then very exciting is the JVM COBOL, so this is taking procedural and uh, the managed COBOL uh, syntaxes onto the Java Virtual Machine. And the Java Virtual Machine is the engine behind Java as well, and has become the de facto standard for a lot of application servers and web servers right across industry and finance. The standards body is very important to the COBOL language and has been important to its evolution over a long period of time. And there is a new version of the standard that's coming that's going to be cleaning up some of the, uh, the noise that was introduced in the 2002 standard. And that's great, you know, it is good to have something to refer to when building new uh, applications going forward. In the real world though, people can't wait for standards all the time and so vendors are innovating with new changes in the language to make it more relevant to today. MicroFocus is doing some really interesting things in making it easy to integrate the COBOL language with the .NET framework or with the Java Virtual Machine framework. And the ability to write traditional COBOL and then just slip in object-oriented methods without having to do any OO programming is just phenomenal. COBOL within the JD Williams organisation is one of the strategic languages that we use. We have probably around 40 developers skilled in COBOL uh, and we see it going forward as, as being strategic for five, ten years into the future. The systems that we've got written in COBOL are absolutely vital to the operation. They underpin the warehouse system which controls all the goods in, all the goods out, all the customer orders, they all go through our COBOL systems. The systems themselves were introduced in a language called Mantis uh, in the early 90s uh, and we actually migrated them to COBOL in the mid 90s because of uh, perceived performance issues with Mantis that, that COBOL just didn't have. I think the key strengths of COBOL as a language are the fact that it's, it is uh, almost English 
like in its uh, appearance. It's very quick to develop in, it's very easy to debug. Um, there are a lot of tools on the marketplace that will allow you to, uh, to debug and test COBOL applications. We've run a, a graduate recruitment program for a number of years and uh, COBOL is a key part of that. We, uh, we train all our graduates in COBOL. And I think one of the key things from my perspective is that if I take somebody with no knowledge of any programming languages, within two weeks I can get them very proficient in COBOL. At the moment, JD Williams is, uh, is, is constantly developing the warehouse system. There are always new requirements in that area. There are always changing requirements in that area that will always be written in COBOL. Uh, as well as that, we are uh, creating an I.O. layer for our uh, mainframe database, and that's going to be written entirely in COBOL as well. We're comfortable with that in that we can support it, we can support the development and the maintenance. So, like I say, going forward, COBOL will be one of our strategic languages. So the proof points for whether COBOL is delivering or not is its usage in the, in, in the next 10 or 20 years. Lines of code don't really count. Now, they're interesting, 240 billion lines of COBOL, it's interesting. What it does tell you is there's a lot of it. And so replacing the COBOL is going to be very risky, very expensive if anybody tries to do it. I think you're going to see a lot more COBOL being used in these new frameworks, being deployed on .NET or JVM, integrating with other languages, people building web clients, HTML5 clients, Silverlight clients, Android clients, who knows what, but using COBOL on the back end to deliver the business value. People want to use COBOL with other languages to deliver the strengths of COBOL. We're coming to the end of what might be called the baby boomer generation. The people that built the business applications that are running today through the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s and into the 21st century are all starting to retire now and there's somewhat of a void behind them of developers that really understand how business works, what the business systems try to do. At the same time there's some fantastic new technology coming along, .NET, JVM, the cloud, um, HTML5, Silverlight, lots of exciting things going on. And then we've got some great tools as well with Visual Studio, with Eclipse, with great COBOL enabling within those tools. The opportunity for developers that can join these up, can understand the business opportunity, can understand the technology and be able to use COBOL with the great tools, have a great opportunity in, in business IT systems for the next five or ten years. And I think COBOL is at the heart of all of that. I think students will find it very easy to get a job more so in the cobalt market than they could if they turned around and attempted to get something with web design or using the internet. Several of my students have gone out and they've went out into the working world looking for employment and in the computer business and what they wind up doing is mainframe uh, work as far as uh, JCL, job control languages, uh, maintaining the console because there's still plenty of jobs out there COBOL is still there. COBOL is a language that's structured, easy to understand. It's out there, but it's not a highly publicized thing because it's in the background, all right? And it's like everything else. You go into a fancy restaurant, but at no time did you think about the guy in the kitchen. And the analogy here is, is that what you have as far as the web and the internet you have that restaurant out front, the waiter and all the other stuff. They call this presentation logic. What's in the kitchen is what we have is the business logic. And that's where your legacy programs are, that's where the mainframe is, and all that. It's like saying, out of sight, out of mind. We still deal primarily though, and you still need someone on the back end. And COBOL is one of the languages, I don't think they've they come out with a better language for the business world than COBOL. The key strengths of COBOL in the family of modern languages relate to its business processing capacity. It has a unique position where it is unsurpassed in processing business data and also has a very straightforward programming model that allows you to write and then have audited financial calculations. So COBOL is and will remain the engine of business on the server side. Five things that make my life better. I know it's creepy to say it, but Visual Studio COBOL is fantastic. Um, coffee does get me going in the morning. Alcohol helps me at night. And movies and books. My family, my droid phone, 
my snowmobiles, my hockey skates, and my binary wall clock. Cobalt, hot coffee, loud music, mountains, and my kids. My five are having a happy and healthy family, being able to go on regular holidays, uh, access to the internet is essential, um, my BlackBerry I couldn't do that anymore, and sport. Cellular broadband, our smartphones, car, my wonderful dog, and visual COBOL productivity tools. It's the idea of being back here at a college where I started out at, and being able to contribute and give something back to the college before I leave here, model airplanes. There's a reason why I drive a 1985 Lincoln Town car. There's a reason why um, I've been married to the same woman for 37 years. All right, there's a reason because the simple fact is, I believe if it works, stick with it. Consequently, if cobalt works, stick with it.